Wash, and welcome to another brand new year of Wash TV announcements. Welcome back, Wahawks. Today is Thursday, January 3rd. It's an A-Day regular schedule, and in light of the new year, we felt it was appropriate to talk seriously about New Year's resolutions. That's right. It's a New Year's tradition dating back to I have no idea when that states that since it's a fresh year, you can make some minor or major changes in your life to start fresh. We love this idea, don't we? Yeah, we sure do. And I've made quite a few resolutions already. That's great. What's one of them? Um, well, I am giving up snake wrangling. Yep. It's a hazard to my health, and I'm not even very good at it, so it's gone. Out of my life forever. Well, I'm impressed. I could never give that up. But more power to you. One thing I refuse to give up, though, is telling students the announcements. So let's get started on that. What do you say? I say that I want to see some boys playing some basketball today, because basketball starts today. If you have your physical on file and signed up, you should be there today. And that goes great with my resolution to become a professional basketball player. Finally going to make that dream come true, huh? Yeah, I feel like it's time. Okay, well, my dream of becoming a professional dancer should also be coming true as the Wahawk dance team starts today as well. Dancing with the stars, here I come. Okay, moving on. Do you have any resolutions regarding VPA? Of course. First, I have resolved to use as many power tools as I can. And I mean dangerous ones, like saws and drills and ones with sharp, pointy things that'll make a lot of noise. Then I'll be super good at building the set for Seussical. So any students interested in helping out with set and stage for VPA, keep watching these announcements for an upcoming meeting date. It's going to be a wild year. What about your resolutions? You got any good ones? Oh yeah, tons, like incorporating more glitter into my outfits and possibly even bedazzling my shoes. That sounds amazing. I just can't let go of speaking of letting go. Let go of your chair right now, stand, and let's say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm resolving to watch more hockey this year. I resolve to support you and your support of hockey. Then I have a great deal for you. Members of the orchestra are going to be playing the national anthem at the Saints hockey game on Friday, February 1st. GWMS is selling tickets for, to the game for just $15 each. All proceeds from ticket sales directly support our music programs here at Washington. See Mrs. Mens in the orchestra room for an order form today. All orders and money are due to Mrs. Steckline in the office by January 18th. Okay, here's what I think all students should resolve to do. Wear their IDs. And if you need a new ID, they can be purchased for $3 in the main office. And in order to not lose things, students should obviously resolve to carry duct tape around with them everywhere and just duct tape things to themselves, like their IDs and a pencil and their hats and their lunches and their little brothers, because then they wouldn't lose that stuff. Yeah. Wait, but what if they lose the duct tape? Excellent point. I hadn't thought of that. No one ever does. It's okay as long as you don't forget the birthdays. I'm making a resolution to buy each person is celebrating a birthday in 2019 a new car. Once I win the lottery. Did you even buy a ticket? That would help. Yeah, maybe just wish the following Wahawks a happy birthday instead. Sandra Powell Moore and Ashlyn Welbus. Happy birthday, Wahawks. Now all that's left to wrap is this broadcast up with a new thought of the day. But before we do that, tell me one last resolution you've made. All right. I resolve to be grateful for what I have and to always tell the people I love that I love them. That's awesome. And I've resolved to worry less about the things that I don't have any control over and to live in the moment because it will be gone for and I know I don't want to miss it. Well, that's it for today, except for the thought of the day, which is cheers to the new year and another chance for us to get it right. Have a happy new year, Wash!